Today we're going to be taking a look at the rebuild process for the e-trailer or Ram brand 1,000 pound lift capacity marine jacks. Now there are a couple different components for the jack that we have available here at e-trailer just depending on what your needs are. Here we've got part number MJ-1000B-HD. That's going to be the handle and the handle pin. The cap replacement is going to be part number MJ-1000B-CP. We've got the internal bearing. This is what's going to reduce the friction between the screw and the top plate on the jack. We'll show you how that goes. This is part number MJ-1000B-BR. And then we've got our gear kit. Now our gear kit's going to have a side gear and a base gear. We've got a replacement handle pin, the base gear pin, and the keeper ring that's going to go around that handle gear to keep our pin in place. Now for the gear kit, that's going to be part number MJ-1000B-GR. Now we'll start by removing the cap, which we'll have to remove the little Phillips screw that's here on the side. We'll pull out on this upper edge, then lift up. You can see there's a little tab that goes in that hole there. Now, if you're just replacing your cap, if the jack's working fine, but you want to keep it working that way, we'll just pop that back on, put your screw back in place, and your job's going to be done. Now, we're going a few steps further here, so you'll see inside the jack there's going to be a lot of grease and stuff in there. We want to get that cleaned out. At least we'll be able to see our pin location there. What you're looking for to find your handle pin, it's going to be that little indention. It's a little half round indention. There's going to be one on each side. Next is going to be the removal of that snap ring that fits right in that groove all the way around our handle gear. It's easier to see here rather than on the jack, but just want to start at one end and pop it over to the back side and then work around and it's going to then be between the outer housing of the jack and the gear. You can see there's where the end of it is. So we'll try to get our pick in there. You could also use a small screwdriver. And then we'll lift out on that enough to get it like we set up on that back side. We should be able to turn our handle and pop that off. You can see now it's just going to hang out there for a minute while we get our pin out. And once we get that grease out of the way, you'll see the end of our pin is right there. We're going to take a 5 30 second punch and drive that out toward the bottom. Now once your pin's fully through, you'll see your handle be where it'll float. So now we just want to lift up on that. And if we're just doing a handle replacement, we'll slide that back in, we'll put our new pin in, we'll be set. But again, we're going to show you how to rebuild the entire thing here. There's going to be a spacer right here. Pull that out. Then this gear is just kind of sandwiched in there, so we'll lower that down. Set it aside. The clip, you can see it fell out with this. There's our little spring clip. And then these are bushings. So there's a little washer on it. But these bushings fit up into those square holes. There's going to be one on each side there. So we'll get that set over here to the side. Now for our base gear, it's just a matter of lifting straight up on that. It's going to come out. All of its grease. And you'll see below that, there's going to be a little floating pin. We're going to lift upward on that. And we should be able to bring it out of the very small hole right here on the top of the jack. Pull that out. And then you also see a thin little washer on the bottom here. Now these washers are not included, so you want to hang on to these so we can get these put back in. Now if we pull our jack, the inner tube on our jack down slightly, we can take out the keeper, and then you'll see inside of there, our bearing stays right underneath that keeper. I'll just separate it. 
Got our bearing there, so we'll pull our old bearing off, put our new bearing in, and then slide it right back together. Now as we slide that together, we wanna to drop in this top plate. It's gonna go through the larger gap, and it's gonna come out of the smaller gap there on the bottom. And you'll see the screw itself that comes right through that. We'll place that washer back on. We've got our base pin there that needs to go again through that same hole we took it out of. And you'll see that's going to slide in pretty freely. I'm going to rotate that so it sits side to side rather than up and down. You want about equal amount sticking out of each side. Now you'll see on our base gear here it's designed to capture that pin or prevent it from sliding in and out of the screw. So we just want to be sure when we put that back in place that we line that up. And you can pretty much tell because typically the screw comes up here flush with the top of the gear or pretty close to it. And just like that. You see it'll be a little recess but not a great deal. Now we're ready to slide in the bushing for our handle. We'll slide our handle in just far enough to get our washer on. Let that rest there for just a second. For my handle gear, I like to get the snap ring started first. So I'm going to place it on there and then kind of work it around about three quarters of the way or so. And it should hold there. That way once we have our pin in place, we just really have to tap that down rather than trying to work it all the way on all the way around which can kind of be a pain. And now this needs to slide in so it engages that base gear and then so we can slide our handle through it. And we've got our spacer that's going to go in. Slide our handle on through there. And then what we're looking to do is just line up the hole that's in our handle with that indention that was in our gear. You can see there, you can see right through it. And we'll take our handle pin, and let's get that slid in. Then we'll tap that in. That needs to go in far enough so that we can get the snap ring around the outside. All right, now we'll grab our pick, work around to that edge where that ring is, and then just slowly rotate our handle while applying a little bit of pressure, and it'll snap in just like that for us. Now to protect the gears in our jack here, we want to fill this up with a nice high quality grease. You saw how much was in it before, you want to get at least that much back in there. Then rotate the assembly to make sure it engages, fully coats our gears. You can see it's right back, really nice smooth operating. Now our cap's going to slide down and then push that top in and then we'll just replace that little screw. And that's it, just a couple parts and a few hand tools there and you can rebuild your jack rather than having to do a complete replacement. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.